Hello, Rossonville families. I wonder if you can look at Miss Bryant and guess what might be coming up. Hmm, I have red hearts. Hmm, I have a book with hearts on it. I don't know if you can guess. Well, it's February and I think you might know, you might have a clue, Valentine's Day. So Miss Bryant thought, oh my, there's a good book that I think kids might enjoy just for Valentine's Day. The author is Mark Brown. The title of the book, Author's Valentine. And look, Arthur has a red heart as well. So let's check it out. What do you think Arthur is gonna do with this Valentine? Let's make a prediction. Do you think he's gonna give that red heart to someone? I don't know. Let's see. Someone was sending Arthur Valentine's and Valentine's Day wasn't until Friday. They were all signed, your secret admirer. Oh boy. So it looks like Arthur, Arthur is getting the Valentine's. I love you smack lips. <laughs> That's funny. It was a real mystery. Who was Arthur's secret admirer? It might be Fern. Hmm. It could be Buster playing a joke. Or maybe even Francine. She was always teasing Arthur. Arthur hoped it was the new girl, Sue Ellen. Ah, which one do you think it might be? I don't know. Let's see. On Wednesday, Arthur found a new Valentine, another one. Apples, bananas, peaches, a pear. With a face like yours, you're lucky, I care. Your secret admirer, P.S. In your lunchbox, you'll find a treat. It's just for you and it's extra sweet. Oh, wow. And Arthur is checking his lunchbox. He has a note and he has a treat. Oh my, I wonder who is sending this. Arthur hoped it might be chocolate, but a lunch he found this note. Candy is sweet, lemons are sour. I'll be watching you the whole lunch hour. <gasps> Arthur looked at Sue Ellen. She smiled. Oh wow, so she's smiling. So he thinks maybe it's Sue Ellen. What do you think? Think it's Sue Ellen? Let's see. On Thursday, every day made Valentine, everyone made Valentine boxes. Arthur decided to make a special card instead. When everyone mailed their Valentines, Arthur put his card in Sue Ellen's box. Oh, see, they're making their Valentine boxes and Arthur put his card in her box because he thinks it's Sue Ellen. Then, when nobody was looking, Arthur hid the Valentines from the secret admirer in his coat pocket. Oh, so he's stuffing it in his coat pocket. Let's see. After school, Arthur took off his coat to play soccer and all the Valentines fell out. That was not what he wanted to do, right? Everyone laughed. Buster called him, lover boy. Hey, hot lips, shouted Francine. Arthur laughed when everyone sang, Arthur and his girlfriend sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage. Then comes Arthur with the baby carriage. Oh no, what in the world? Arthur's like, why are they over there making fun of me? I've dropped all these love notes and now they're singing these songs? I don't know. The next morning, Arthur said he was sick. You don't wanna miss the big Valentine's Day party, do you? Asked his mother. So he's pretending to be sick in bed. 
so that he doesn't have to go to school because he was so embarrassed the day before, right? I wonder, hmm, what do you think? Do you think mom is gonna make him go? That's his mom, let's see. Arthur went to school, so mom probably knew he was faking. Ick, who sent this mushy valentine, says Sue Ellen. So Sue is reading that valentine. It's signed Arthur, shouted Buster. Everybody laughed. Arthur loves Sue Ellen, everyone sang. And Arthur, does he look happy? He looks kind of worried. Yeah, he might be embarrassed again. After school, Arthur wanted to be alone. On the way home, he climbed up to his tree house. There he found another valentine. I love you in London. I love you in Rome. Look in your mailbox when you get home. You're a secret admirer, and the XOXO means hugs and kisses. Oh, gross, said Arthur, and ran into the house. So now he does not have a clue who this is. Oh boy. I believe this is for you, Arthur, said his mother. It's a love letter, said his sister. Oh, mom has this letter. Arthur looks worried, like, oh no, now they've sent it to my house and my mom has it. <sighs> Arthur went to his room. There was a movie ticket in the card. My love, tomorrow is the day we meet in row three. You in seat A, me in seat B, your secret admirer. On the card, Arthur saw a smudge. He looked very closely. Something had been erased. There was an F and an R and an A. Francine! So now he's like, oh my goodness. Let's see. The next day, Arthur had a plan. He ran to the movies so he wouldn't be late. So I wonder what his plan is, do you know? He found row three, he sat in seat A. Francine smiled at Arthur. So you're the secret admirer? Good guess, Four Eyes. So look at that. Close your eyes, said Arthur. I want to give you a kiss. Really, said Francine? Close your eyes and count to 10. Okay, said Francine. Arthur, can I open my eyes yet? Asked Francine. Her eyes are still closed. Wonder, what do you think? Hmm. Arthur? <laughs> he left the candy kisses for Francine. And Arthur took off. <laughs> the end.